Here we present our technique for cartilage repair in the knee, biologic augmented microdrilling. We have no disclosures. In the operating room, the patient is first positioned lateral to collect bone marrow from the posterior spiriliac spine. 20 cc's of marrow are collected into a catheter tip syringe pre-filled with 100 units of heparin. For the bone marrow aspirate concentrate preparation, we begin with a 150 milliliter blood transfer bag. Crimp tubing and securely place a clamp. Then, remove the transfer bag port cover and insert a coupler into the open port. Close all three filter clamps and attach an 18 gauge needle to the lure adapter. Insert collected bone marrow through the coupler into the suspended transfer bag. Invert the bag and remove the coupler. Now to the filter. Remove the cap from one piercing pin and insert the pin into the open bag port. Resuspend the bag to prepare for filtration. Open the upper filter clamp completely. Gently squeeze the drip chamber to encourage marrow to flow through the filter. Once all the marrow is collected in the filter, open the lower clamp halfway, elevating the tubing so that you have controlled flow of the filtered marrow. Divide the filtered marrow between two 10 milliliter serum tubes. Fill counterbalances with water if needed before placing them into the centrifuge. The tubes are centrifuged for 10 minutes at 1300 G. After centrifugation, the Buffy coat is clearly visible. Carefully extract the Buffy coat in some plasma using an 18 gauge 3.5 inch spinal needle attached to a 5 cc syringe. This procedure yields 3 to 5 cc's of bone marrow aspirate concentrate. Between 6 and 7 cc's of platelet-rich plasma is prepared using the Biomet GPS-3 system. Finally, we have hyaluronic acid, platelet-rich plasma, and bone marrow aspirate concentrate ready for injection. The three components are combined and thoroughly mixed in 120 cc syringe. While the marrow is being processed, the patient is positioned supine with the contralateral leg abducted on an arm board. During the procedure, multiple holes will be drilled with a 2 mm burr. The burr must first be modified to allow it to be used for drilling. Make a mark at 7 mm from the tip of the sheath. Remove the burr from the sleeve and cut at the 7 mm mark. Use an obturator to open the sleeve back up. With the obturator in place, pinch the crimped ends with a needle driver to finish rounding the end of the sleeve. Reinsert the burr. It is now ready to use. Standard arthroscopic exam of the knee is carried out. Here, lesions of the central patella ridge will be treated. First, a ring curette is used to remove remaining cartilage, including the calcified cartilage layer. The 2 mm burr is then used to drill multiple holes 7 mm deep and separated by 2 to 3 mm. Holes are drilled slowly, backing out several times to prevent thermal necrosis. Note the use of a tenaculum clamp on the patella. Tilting of the patella by an assistant greatly facilitates perpendicular drilling of the patella. Also, the portal for the burr must be very posterior to allow drilling at the proper angle. After drilling, a mini shaver is used to clean up the edges of the lesion. Treating lesions of the trochlea, femoral condyle, and patella are relatively straightforward. However, to achieve near perpendicular drilling of the tibia plateau, a percutaneous release of the medial collateral ligament may be required in tight knees. After all lesions have been treated, the knee is suctioned dry and all portals are closed except the camera portal. The mixture of BMAC, PRP, and HA is injected directly into the primary lesion with an 18 gauge spinal needle. Postoperative rehabilitation consists of CPM use for one month and partial weight bearing on crutches for six weeks.